Hello guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight. This time we're going to be taking a look at, uh, oops, give me a second, I messed up. Uh, Cowboy Carbine Winchester Model 1907. Sorry if you lost audio there. I, I had to click out and actually scroll on the Nexus webpage. Made by Degenerate Deck and CSEP, of course, because they make great weapons. They actually do, they make pretty great weapons. And because it's a cowboy carbine, I'm gonna love it a lot. Because I play a lot of New Vegas, and uh, I always get a little bit sad when they don't include the weapons in New Vegas in any other Fallout game. It, it, I don't know why. Uh, I mean, I know Fallout 4 is the only Fallout game that came out after, in all honesty, besides 76, of course, but uh, yeah. Uh, in any case, uh, this is the Cowboy Carbine, the Winchester Model 1907, which is a beautiful uh, gun, of course. Now let's go ahead and shoot a little bit and then take out the modifications afterwards. It's pretty nice and loud. Pretty standard for a Cowboy repeater, I'd say. Oh, you can pretty much just spam shoot it, that's kind of nice. Oh, although it goes all over the place if you do. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the modifications now, see what we can turn this beast into. So it starts out with an advanced receiver, apparently. I don't know if I did that or <laughs> something, but I might have done that. Then we can give it some cool barrels. I think you might be able to turn it into a sniper rifle. Let's go ahead and check out. We give it a full stock. Let's give it a, uh, a gunslinger stock. Why not? Uh, apparently I already had that one before. Uh, let me give it a nice little ammo thing. Wait, what's the standard? This is a standard magazine, okay. I'm gonna show you the reload animations later. I don't have a lot of ammo for it. As you can see, I have seven bullets. That's why. Uh, but we, I don't know how much... If I can even show the reload animation. But uh, anyway. Uh, I can even get a close sight. I can give it actual... It's weird you can give it hollow sights. It feels a bit off for a <laughs> gun like this. Well, in any case, I guess you can always just blob it on there. Close side, sure, why not? Uh, muscle, you can give it a bayonet, a compensator, suppressor, all the good modern stuff. Accessory, you can give it a fall grip. That's a nice touch. I like that a lot. And of course, the legendary thing is not part of the mod. It is just something I have as a separate mod. Okay, send on magazine, of course. So now I have, of course, this weapon again. Oh, he even holds it. It's nice when weapons do that. And just to show the reload animation, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, toggle guard mode, because that's what I was on before. And then I'm gonna shoot once. No, sadly I can't show the reload animation, I don't have enough ammo. I don't know what the ID for the ammo is, I don't know how to even figure that out. It's, it's completely my own fault, and I'm sorry, I apologize if you guys want to see the reload animation. But anyway, I, I do like the gun anyway, although it is a bit fast when you turn. I don't know if that's my fault or something, but uh, yeah, still pretty cool. And you hold the gun like this when you walk, and then if you sprint, it looks like this. At least if you have the handle on, it looks like this. I like it. It's a bit different than the other weapons, which is always like, you know, at the bottom of the screen, side to side. It's nice to have a little bit of a different animation set here. Doesn't really translate into third person, but that's okay. Very nice weapon, though. I like it. Uh, there is an animation mod. I'll cover that at another time. Uh, but but this is a great weapon mod. I like it. Again, it fits into the, the Fallout 4 or the Fallout lore. There are also unique variants of the weapon around in the Commonwealth, in case you guys want some unique variants of this, which is awesome. I love unique variants, so well done for their part. Again, I, I would love some customizability to the look of the weapon to make it more personal. It's always nice to have that ability. That's kind of the only feedback I can give. All the attachments make sense, maybe except the modern ones, but I understand why they added them, because some people really want them. And it's better to always add more than add less, so I can understand why they added those. But besides that, I like the cowboy uh, repeater, or the not the repeater, that's not a repeater, a cowboy, the cowboy carbine. I like how it looks, I like the aesthetic, I like how it fits in, because it fits in pretty well with everything in Fallout 4. And at the same time, it, it is kind of like a throwback to New Vegas for me, because New Vegas did indeed have cowboy weapons and everything, uh, so it also feels law friendly to me. I don't know if it specifically had this one, but I know for a fact they had cowboy weapons, so... Uh, yeah, very nice. Custom animations as well, all the good stuff that they always make. The Degenerate Deck and, and the CSCP team or whatever. They, they are. <laughs> Sorry, CSCP. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I don't have much more to say. Nice weapon again. They don't really fail. I mean, I don't have any bad stuff to say about it, that's for sure. So uh, again, very nicely done. Uh, the textures and everything looks great. It fits into Fallout 4 perfectly. Uh, if you guys want the weapon uh, mod itself, you can look in the description down below. That's the link to Nexus down there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will consider taking out of more of my uh, Fallout mod spotlight videos. Just my videos in general on the channel. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Consider liking, subscribing and sharing. And as always, stay awesome.